Hey guys, this is Amy. Some of you guys said that you liked my accent, so um, I'm just going to be reading a little bit. I hope you guys enjoy. Early History Richard Ryder was born in Hempstead, New York. As a teenager, he was chosen at random by the alien Roman Day. Last surviving centurion of the planet, Xander's elite Nova Corpse. To inherit his power and, ex and succeed him in the rank of Nova Prime, following the destru destruction of his world by the intergalactic pirate Zor. Having been mortally wounded in the battle that tore Alexander apart, Day succeeded in tracking Zor to Earth, but he was unable to exact vengeance himself due to the extent of his injuries. At death's door, Day had little choice but to transfer his power to an unsuspecting human on the planet below. Gambling that whoever he found would be willing to take up his cause and prove worthy of the powers he had given their recipient. The sudden infusion of power overloaded Ryder's body, and he was hospitalized. While Ryder was comatose, the moribund Roman Day explained to him tele telepathically what had happened to him and what his mission was. Ryder's recovery was as sudden as his incap incapacitation had been, being preceded by eye blasts that knocked a doctor out of his room. Discharged, he tried to resume his normal routine. But the very next day, Ryder was alone in his bedroom when Day suddenly tran transmitted to him Day's last gift to Ryder, <clears throat> his cent centurion's uniform. Ryder discovered that he now possessed super strength near invulnerability, the power to fly, and a uniform with a sealed support system, but with little instruction as to how to use these new powers. Indeed, he barely had the opportunity to test out these powers before radio circuit, circuitry contained in his uniform's helmet alerted him to Zor, <clears throat> who was on a rampage in the heart of New York City. Ryder was able to locate Zor and engage him in combats. Although he was unable to fatally wound Zor, using a telepathic link, Day was able to use Ryder to lock onto Zor's location. Day then teleported Zor aboard his Nova ship and used the energies of its computer, P-R-I-M-E, to dis disintegra disin disintegrate Zor, <laughs> leaving behind only the alien's life support suit. The energies of the computer, Prime, P-R-I-M-E, are so powerful that Day's body was itself destroyed in the process. Ryder having taken up the mantle of Nova was in armor in armored with his newfound abilities. Albert he did not have the he did not have any idea as to how he was supposed to use them. Still he took up the life of a superhero hero fighting costumed enemies such as the Condor, Powerhouse, Diamond Head, the Corruptor, and others in New York as he gradually learned how to use his new powers. <sighs> After a brief career as Nova, the human rocket, he was called into space to serve in the protection of the recently reconstructed planet Xander, where his powers originated. Eventually, his life of constant intergalactic war was beginning to become tiresome. Hoping to rejoin his high school friends, Richard Ryder requested to return home to Earth. When he was told he had to relinquish his powers in order to do so, to which Ryder agreed. For a time, Ryder lived a relatively normal life, working in a fast food restaurant kitchen. He was barely able to make enough money on which to live due to his 
disrupted education. He spent his time trying to pick up the pieces of the life he had left behind, all the while wishing he could find a way to regain the powers he lost. He's not gonna bite you. I'm good. This girl yesterday, there's like an ant hill like beside the, the pharmacy. Like there's like this grassy area. And it really don't have nothing over there. I don't really know why she walked over there. But she walked like down this little slope and like a, walked into a, a fire ant home. And like they were all up her legs her shoes her socks like she took her shoes off and was like on a tiptoe all over the pavement by the time she got back to the pavement what like, she do rolling it well i don't know what she did but she said she fell in and she said it was a hole but it was like i don't know i don't see how there'd be that big of a hole down there i don't know boss i'm covering fire ants can i go home that's a good that's a good uh excuse <laughs> his time trying to pick up the pieces of the life he had left behind, all the while wishing he could find a way to regain the powers he lost. During this period, the planet Xander was destroyed again in an attack by the space pirate Nebula, unbeknownst to him. New Warriors Ryder led a languorous life. Pressed by the loss of his powers and unwilling to go back to the high school from which all his friends had graduated, he settled on working odd jobs in order to make ends meet. One day, he met Night Thrasher, who prom promptly kidnapped Ryder and dropped him from the top of a building. As he plunged towards the ground, his powers were reactivated and he flew up, avoiding harm. With his power reinvigorated, Ryder lunged toward Night Thrasher, but was quickly subdued. It was later explained that after analyzing Richard Ryder and his abilities, Night Thrasher came to the conclusion that he could induce a high adrenaline rush. He could reactivate Ryder's powers. However, when he performed his experiment, he didn't know it would actually work. After Ryder calms down from his initial rage, Night Thrasher explains he is building his own superhero team. Ryder eventually agreed to join his team. Nova proved to be a valuable asset for the Warriors. Dubbed Kid Nova by the media after the Warriors debut, Ryder had to work harder to regain the respect of the public after his absence. Working with the new Warriors, Ryder also began a flirtatious relationship with his teammate Namorita. Although they did not move beyond friendly squabbling in the first few months. When a woman claimed the power of Nova's old enemy, the Sphinx, she reorganized reality into a version that appealed to her. Here, Ryder had achieved prominence as a member of the Avengers and the respect he craved as Nova. But Sage, the embodiment of truth, nonetheless confronted Nova and made him see this reality was a lie. Rec recruiting the other original new warriors, Nova fought the Sphinx and made her reverse her changes. Nova and Night Thrasher finally buried the hatchet after this adventure, and Taylor provided Ryder with an upgraded version of his original uniform, allowing him to cast off the media given Kid Nova name completely and operate unchallenged as Nova again. Nova Corps. In an encounter with Garth and Sal, also called Supernova, Ryder used the full power of the Nova Force to help restore Xander, its population, including Adora and many others. Through the planetary planetary cloning banks that the world mind controlled, 
Although his powers were increased, Ryder was reduced to being one of many personnel of the Dover courts. With Xander now under the protection of the the Shire Empire, Nova had superiors to whom he had to answer as a corpsman. Nova had difficulty in maintaining his duties as both one of the Nova Corps personnel and a new warrior. He met an alternative he met an alternate reality, Nova Nova, who helped Ryder develop his powers. He also saved Earth from destruction by preventing the de detonation of the Death Storm bomb. But dealing against the Death Storm bomb had meant ignoring a call from the Nova Corps, and that amounted to de dereliction of his duties. Thus, Ryder was stripped of his Nova powers. His power was given to Garth and Sal, who came to Earth as Nova in his place. After several months as a powerless associate of the New Warriors, Ryder and Sal confronted the dire Wraith Queen, Vox, who fatally wounded Sal. The Exandiran passed his powers on to Ryder, exact, exactly as Roman Day once had, and Richard Ryder's identity as Nova was again reinstated. Relationship with N Namorita. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, reading shoot. If you'd like to book one, just let me know. Um, I also wanted to give a little update on the Jen Arder shoes. Um, I really like them. I've been wearing them a lot to work. They're really comfortable. Um, like I said, I'm trying to keep them clean, but you know, that comes with wearing them, I guess. Anyways, if you're interested in them, just click the link below.